Hi folks, this is Joel Malone. I'm the business manager here at the church. I've had some of you ask me, how can I make my gifts to the church when I physically can't be there? I'm going to be out of town, sick, whatever. I'm going to walk you through the three main ways that you can give to the church. The first one is, of course, the simplest, which is just put a check in the mail. Just address it to 301 Hickory Creek Road, Lenore City, Tennessee, and we'll get it in the mail in a couple of days. The other one is if you are doing online banking at your, your bank, uh, you would simply set, set the church up as a vendor, just like you would AT&T or uh, the utility company or Charter or whoever. And just set this up as a vendor, put the amount in, hit send, and the church will receive a check in the mail in the next few days. But the one I really want to walk you through today is the one that we have on our website. If you go to centralmethodist.com, in the upper right hand corner, there's a button that says give. It's a white circle and it has the word give in it. Click on that and that will take you to a donation payment page. And on that page, at the, on the upper uh, left hand side, there are five different things that you can give to. There's general operating, there's uh, baked promise, there's memorials, there's other, and you can specify what that other is. And right now we have one that says tornado relief. You put an amount in there and then go down toward the bottom of the page and it'll ask for frequency. Frequency, you can do a one-time gift. You may want to set up that gift weekly or you can set it up monthly. And then right below that, you hit the date that you want that to begin. Hit continue and it takes you to another page. And on that page, that's where you fill out the, all the personal information, your name, address, phone number. And then right below that is uh, the way that you're gonna make that payment. You can use your credit card, debit card, or your checking, checking your savings account. Fill out that information, and then right below that, it will ask for a password. The reason you would want to enter a password is if you're gonna do this on an on a ongoing basis, uh, by entering a password, it will save all this information. So next time, all you have to do is sign in, put the amount in, and uh, uh, go from there. Makes it much simpler. Uh, after that, it will ask, are you a robot? And I don't think we have any robots here at the church, but you click that and then hit process. In a couple of days, the, the church will have that money deposited in their account, and you'll get a receipt from the, from the uh, vendor who does our online payments. Thank you for your generosity, and if you have any questions, you can always give me a call. I can help you uh, get things set up, or if uh, you need help with the online banking, uh, I can uh, help walk you through that also. Thanks, and have a great day.